What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Um, in this video we're going to be going through a walkthrough slash tutorial of how I'd paint a portrait. Um, and if any of you have seen my style of painting, I do like to use all bright colours and making it look all abstract and colourful. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Uh, we're going to be painting on um, acrylic paper using acrylic paint which I would recommend you do use if you're going to paint on paper but if not you can just use canvas but this um, it's just so it doesn't uh, go through the paper and go all wrinkly and whatnot so first off we've got our paint brushes and uh, you can use what paint brushes you want but this one's for the, I'm going to be using for the background I've got some different size brushes here it's big ones and small ones for the detail and I've got palette knife just for some texture um, we've got water to clean our brushes with paper towel to dry them this I'm going to be using this as a palette this is a sheet of plastic but you can use whatever you want cardboard or if you actually have a palette and we've got our acrylic paint and I do re recommend if you have the money to get some decent acrylic paint um, I think this is the best one I've found so far. It's not too much. If you go on, if you're in the UK or whatever, if you go on Art Discount, you can get them for about eight or nine pound. But um, I do recommend getting the more expensive acrylic paint just because it comes out better. Like if you, I, I used to buy like really cheap acrylic paint, and you probably know as well. It, it's just really thin and like it's just terrible to be honest. But um. Yeah, I usually start off my portraits just by drawing them with a pencil and then starting the painting. But I don't really like to see the pencil marks through. So we're going to just do a background first. So um, I do recommend you do a light, a light colour background. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to do a pink background. So obviously pink is red and white. And I'm using the big brush. I'm going to use a little bit of water and not make it too thick. So, and then we're going to wait for it to dry. Um, th this is just an old bit of paper, but it doesn't really matter. You can still paint over it. Yeah, the thing I like about acrylic paint is that you can, if you really wanted to, you could do like a whole paint in, in a day or a few hours because you could just wait for it to dry. And then do the next layer and that's what we're going to do with this so we're just going to do the background um you can see if you want you can see more of my paintings and stuff on instagram this whole link in my in my description but i'm still trying to get used to making youtube videos but um I have been making some drawing videos, but I do, I'm going to still make them, but I, I, I like, I prefer painting, so that's what I'm going to do, alright, that's reasonably covered, um, I would usually paint on an easel as well, but it's just easier to film this way, but you can paint however you want, but um, yeah, we're just going to let that dry, and then we'll get, begin with the next step. Oh yeah, and don't forget to clean the brushes. Um, usually if I've just made a fresh cup of water, not to drink, to, to clean my brushes, and I've just done, I usually just go and rinse them in the sink, unless like I'm doing, lo I'm using loads of brushes and I just want to put them in there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to, I'm just going to wash mine in the sink and then come back. Going on guys, so we're back and it has dried. The layer has dried. So we're going to get painting. Um, my friend Charlotte has let me use a picture of her. I was going to do a picture of myself, but I couldn't really find any photos where I don't look out of it. So, um, yeah, I do recommend you use a photo with um, a light background as it'll be easier. But I've, I've just had to, like, draw the edges in with a gel pen so you can see. But anyway, we're going to um, start off. I'm using, like, a... What is this called? A round brush? Just like a thinner brush so to draw 
draw the outline. Um, you could use a pencil if you want, but I recommend you use um, a paintbrush. And I'm going to use white paint just for the drawing. Um, so what you want to do is, if you want, you can draw like a cross, like to measure, um, measure the portrait if you want. So, but I'm not going to do that. So what I would do is find the top and the bottom, like say the top of the hair, say, and I wouldn't worry too much about making it perfect because you can adjust it. So do the top, and then I'd say the bottom of the chin, but you want to like, when you do it, you want to say the bottom of the chin, you want to compare it other angle this angle to that angle to compare the like the proportions so got the top and then I'm trying to do it so you can see it as well um so like the bottom of the chin I'd say is like there and then, then compare it and then I'm gonna do side of the face you can as also just look instead of focusing on the inside focus on the negative space when you're drawing so just look at the outside and just draw the shape if your um, canvas or whatever is the same uh, ratio as this but yeah so then we want to so we just do that as a simple form like that And you've got the um, t-shirt line, whatever. And then from here, I would do the ear, I'd say. Use some more paint. Um, I would probably d divide, like, if you want to do a cross on it, you can use, like, measure halfway and see what's halfway. So you can see just above the nose. And, like, the middle of the ear is, like, halfway. And then see where the, the ear is on the picture. So it's about a third. So if you divide it into thirds, then you can sort of like measure it like that. Then halfway, we've got the ear. And we can do this line here. And the great thing about acrylic is you can paint over it again and again um, and in not really uh, a short space of time not really a short I don't know what I'm saying in a short space of time because it dries quick so I think we're going to do a hair line so you can I can see I've made the ear a bit small but we'll change that so so the hair yeah, it starts here. And, um, well, maybe I've just done the whole head too. I don't know. We'll sort it out. So, so generally, you can divide the face up from the bottom of the chin to the nose to the eyebrows into thirds. So, like, I don't really want to. I'll do a little drawing on it just so I don't ruin the photo. But from a chin. To the hairline, uh, to the bottom of the nose, to the eyebrows. If you can see, it does vary slightly, but you can generally focus on them. Um, and the centre of the head is usually like the eyes are, but that's yeah. So the eyes about there. And the eyebrow. And then from the eyebrow to the chin. So make the chin a bit smaller. So halfway between here and the bottom of the chin is roughly the nose. And then 
the mouth. There. Don't worry if it don't come out great the first time. You might as well just practice. So starting again. Just remember to compare like the diagonals. So like from here to here to the eye thing. Because when I do that, I can see that I've done the eye too far out and it needs to be a bit closer, like there. Alright. So, I'd say this. Yeah, I wouldn't go too mad on the drawing. And as long as you know where everything is, I'd say that's how I want it to be. All right. And then you can either go straight into adding colors or what I do recommend is you, yeah, let me think. Yeah. Actually, no, we're just going to adding color. Don't worry. No, I was going to say in a darker color, you could go, go over the eyes and the nose. Like, actually, no, we'll do that first. We'll do that just so in case you paint over where you've marked it. So I'm going to use red. So just, just the bit, the key areas that like, you don't want to mess up. That way when we start the painting, we can, we don't paint over all the areas that we've just marked out. And I'll take your time with this. I mean, I am painting a little, I do paint quite fast, but. And the good thing is there's not not any like rules with painting to be honest once you like know how to paint you just do whatever you want but with acrylic paint i do generally go from uh, light colors first to dark colors i'm trying not to do too much The red does it really nice on the pink background. And Um, just looking where the ear is, maybe I've made that too big. So it comes just below the eyebrow, right there. And it's like a, like a tilt. And it ends just below, just above the lip. Um. Yeah, I think basically done the outline. Oh, I'm getting a bit carried away now. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Um, and I start adding some more feathers. So, I'll put that in there. Just get a slightly bigger brush. Actually, I'll use a flat brush. So, I generally like to use yellow first that like, is probably one of my favorite colors <laughs> in painting this yellow is a bit pale so i'm gonna add a bit red to it a bit of white and that's more of an orangey yellow oh well um yeah so i like to go over the highlights first um i, I would say it's better to get 
if you can a photo with more shadows in it but you can just use what you can really so but if it's all like highlights you can just make it all like you can still make it different colors just the same sort of brightness so start adding some color and I don't really plan much of it like once you've done the once you've got your outlines you can just go ham really like just try not to start adding really dark colors first because it's harder to paint over them well you can paint over them obviously but like it will the colors won't really show through on top unless you've got really good paint i suppose but I'm just doing a bit of the background. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do a layer, layer of dryer, do another layer. So I wouldn't think of like the outcome first. Just like just stop painting really. Just like do a layer and then you can go over it. With a f not over the whole thing, but like bits of it with different colors. So yeah, I think that's probably enough yellow in it. I use quite a lot. Get a bit car That's the trouble. Sometimes you get a bit carried away, and then I went to stop. <laughs> All right. I'll stop now. Okay. So now I'll use thinking a bit of blue, a bit of light blue. Oh no, I've mixed it in with the red. So I'm rushing. Alright, it'll be like a bit of a power blue. So, okay, so. Mix it in a bit with the yellow. Over the ear. I'm still going to leave some of the pink to show through, otherwise there's just no point of me even painting that pink, if you can't see it. Um, let's probably use a smaller brush really, shouldn't I? smaller brush before we ruin it okay I'll try not to rush it's just because if I sat here and took my time it'd be all day trying to watch this video and I don't feel like the time lapse video is always that helpful like they are if you know how to paint but if you just want to watch it for a tutorial like it's not really that Need it to be in like real time. Right, I need to make the nose a little bit bigger. Okay. Hmm. Right, so it goes in a bit more there, a diagonal chin. Um, get my brush quick. We'll go for 
a good thing actually is to look at color theory um if you're not sure about colors i mean you don't have to look at it too much but if you look at the color wheel that'll help um when you're adding colors together like combinations right so just thinking what color to use um i might do a bit of orange So refine some of the details a little bit. Actually, don't want to do too much refining on the first layer. Just getting the color in. Oh dear. The oil pan over that. <laughs> Make that look like she's got duck lips. Not sure if ducks have lips, but. And. What haven't I used? Might use a bit of grey. Mix it up a bit. Grey works really nice with all these other colours for some reason. Just never think to use it. I'm not going to do too much there. Right, I think that's the first layer done for now. Um, once it's dry, we'll start the next one. All right, now we're back. This is dried. We're back for the next layer. Um, I would bear in mind that I wouldn't worry too much if it looks weird because you've only done like one or two layers. Like you've still got time to sort it out. Like at the moment, this it looks alright. I mean, I like some of the colours, but. I mean, it does look a little bit weird, but that's because we've still got to make a few adjust adjustments. All right, so what you want to do is compare to your reference photo, if you have one. And from having a little look, I can see I've made the nose a little bit big and it should be a little bit higher. So you see this line from the bottom of the ear to the bottom of the nose, it's sort of like diagonal. It's more, I don't know, it should be up there a bit. And then obviously the lips need to sort out a little bit. And maybe this line here should be a bit more straight. And I'd say this, this line of the teeth that needs to come down more, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. And Maybe the ear a little bit smaller. But yeah, this is the time to have a little look. See if you need any adjustments. So what we're going to do now is work into some of the details a little bit. Just not work into them, but make them more, like adjust them a little bit. So we're going to start with, oh yeah, you can see the brow ridge there, that little dent, the way it changes, playing to the nose. 
I've made that really big there. Damn. I've messed this up. No, I'm joking. Um, Alright, so. I'll start off with the... Go over the eyebrow a little bit so I have like a... Like a landmark to work from. Like that. So, all right, then we can see that. Oh, my God, it's not too bad. I haven't made the forehead a little bit big. Let's go over that. It's the nose mainly. I've made the nose really big. But if I just. The eye there. Add the eye, or the eye lashes, and then I'm sort of looking at like the height of the nose, or like say, it's you just have to compare like measurements. Say from the mouth to the eye, see where how far that is. If it is it like halfway, it's sort of like halfway, I'd say. But here it's like a bit lower. So it needs to go up a little bit. But you can just compare whatever ones you want. And that diagonal. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one really. So. Sure, if you can hear kids laughing and that, I think that's my neighbours. Don't know if you can hear that. Sorry if you can. Uh, so like that, and the lips. But we're gonna paint the outside as well, so I'm not just gonna have a blue outline. Just. This is just to see where we went wrong. Again, checking like, say how far that comes out. Is it in line with the eye? Like, always checking like horizontals and verticals, whatever. Again, you can see the bottom lip comes in a bit more. I don't know if you can see that actually, <laughs> than the top lip. Oh, it's looking a bit better. Still need to work on the nose a little bit, but we're getting there. I'm not going to outline everything otherwise. It's just boring. So from here to the ear, is a little lower. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we're ready to add a bit more colour. Um, well, I'm not going to make it perfect. I mean, all right. All right, now I'll add some colour. So what I usually do each layer, I, I cycle from like the brighter colours to the darker colours like each time I add a layer. So we're gonna go little some white highlights, maybe tiny bit of blue. Don't want to make it too white. 
So I'm going to say bear. to bring need to bring the mech down a little bit no, it's not right. I think it just looks weird because her hair is yellow <laughs> I think I need to make the hair like yeah I'm gonna make the hair like darker don't you really worry. So I'm using more of a skin sort of colour, like a bit of pink, yellow, and white. A bit more white. Um, and a bit more colour. Looking for the darker, slightly darker bits. I know, like, this isn't, oh, it's a good picture, I suppose. <laughs> it doesn't have many shadows, so it's harder when there's not as many, but I don't know, there is a few actually. Mm. Might add a bit of blue somewhere, oh, wait. First, I'm going to add some red here, around here, and here, get under here, I might have to go in with a smaller brush in a second, there's a smaller for some of the details. Um, yeah, she isn't blue. So, blue's my favorite color really, not yellow. I do like yellow though. So I can see, I've got some darker areas by the chin, where the eye socket is and it is. Might need a darker blue actually for that, yeah. Here's a darker blue. Usually I tend to save this blue for the last because it's the darkest colour really, apart from black, but I tend to try not to use black unless it's for like the eyes or something. It just looks better. I'll do the outline for the hair. It does all eventually start coming together. It's got to like believe in yourself. No, I'm joking. That's really cringy. Nah, but for real, you have got to like believe you can do it because you can't just make one mistake and then give up. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to follow this line on the picture is looking a bit weird. Um. <laughs> It looks a bit better. I don't know why I've done her hair like that though. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I've proper ruined the hair. Good. Not to worry. Some more highlights. Um, I sort of want to keep that yellow there, but it just looks like I don't know, it just looks a bit weird. I don't know, man. I don't want to 
we'll get rid of all of it. I'll leave it for now. Oh no, yeah. That was a tricky one. I'll leave it for the second, so I might go over it. Right. Oh, actually, yeah, we've still got the palette knife, haven't we? We'll use that in a sec. Right. Make some corrections. Hair actually starts here, not over there. But we'll go over that. Um, I will go over that now. Actually, just round the edges. We'll use light grey. Bit of blue. Like that, sort of. Right, yeah, I need to change the hair. It looks like she's got like a weird hat on the hand. this brush quite big oh, that's a little bit better I think I need to oh the nose a little bit though Still probably got another couple of layers. I mean like it's whenever you think it's done, but like you'll know when it's done when you when you start liking it. So looking at this I can see I think the nose comes out to right here. Like so Done that horrible colour in our walls pan over it, don't you worry. That sort of is the oh, no, I've made that too round, don't I? Or I'll go over that. I just go through phases of doing the highlights and then doing the dark bits really. It's quite simple. So I have to go over that here again. I 
what we'll do is we'll leave that to dry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not looking too bad. Yeah, I'll leave that to dry and we'll go again. After I've done this little bit. It's weird how this tiniest little bit changes like the whole picture, man. Almost there. Oh. Yeah, we'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back. Alright, now we're back for another layer. Um, yeah, it is looking a little bit better. You tend to find the more layers you do, it does look better. Uh, I think I'm changing the background to like a bright yellow and sorting out the hair. But yeah, you'll see. You will see. Let's have a look. Alright, so I'm going to change the background first. Um, looking at this, I think, I don't know if you can see, I think I made the ear a little bit small, or at least needs to be down there a tiny bit, compared, I don't know if you look at it, it's sort of like the same as the nose and the eye, I don't know, I suppose it is, maybe a tiny bit bigger, yeah, well, Let's do the background. And we will we'll use a little bit of the palette knife, I reckon. Oh, I need a bit more white there. Like that. Um, I think I made the forehead too small, actually. That looks better. Quickly going to sort out the forehead a little bit. I don't know if you can see, just... Hmm. If you see the bottom of the nose, the eyebrow to the forehead is like equal distances in here. I, don't know, I just feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. Like, right. to like there. Maybe a bit, a bit of highlights. Uh, Bit of pink, um, yeah, that'll do for now. And we'll finish off the yellow. Yeah, you do find throughout the painting, you start changing your mind about stuff. Like, I don't come into the painting and think, right, I'm gonna do this bit yellow, that bit blue. Like, I just, just do it, man. That's what you gotta do, really. Why is it boring if you plan it all out? Oh. 
I'm rushing this a little bit just because I don't want it to be like a five hour video. But I do usually take a bit more time in this. I'm going to do some more videos probably in like, because I do usually paint with it on an easel, like the canvas on an easel, because it's upright and you can see it better. But never mind. That's going to sort out the air a little bit. Yeah, this is like the refining stage really. There's a little pink here. Right, maybe I've ruined the air then. No, we'll leave that for now. Add some yellow lights. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna sort out the nose, aren't we? Oh, no, I don't know, the nose is alright, I just weren't really feeling the colour. To add some other colours in there. There's my other paintbrush. Right, there's an oil paintbrush. This one. Alright. some red also got a palette over here just because it's quite small that one it's annoying because I can't actually see the shape of her hair properly because uh, it's too dark but never mind never mind mate Um, yeah, I think we need some more blue. Might use some light blue actually. Mix it up a little bit. Some highlights. Maybe a little bit of green. I don't actually use any green as well. Where do I put the green? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. Oh. Right. 
there is one there. Pretty much really well alongside the red for some reason. So nice. Um, and oh yeah, panic knife. That'd be a good one. Yeah, so um, you can get a couple of different, well, probably more than a couple, different, oh, different shapes. But um, I don't know. I prefer this one the most because like you can scrape it. So, for instance, you can either just put, apply paint onto it, or you can like just like scratch it and mix the paint in like that. If you want to give it like a effect, it's quite fun sometimes, but sometimes you can ruin it. <laughs> Which I not to. I'd have something to scrape it on, scrape the paint on. I use my trousers because I've got trousers that I just put paint on it. Oh god. But you can use tissue. Right, I need to change that. Right, yeah, just make sure you check there's not like a colour on it you don't want. Oh yeah, referring back to our picture. And then I might add a bit of grey. For the t-shirt. It's a bit dark. Don't have to ruin that. Um, I mean, it's getting there. So a few more touches. I like I like giving it like texture and that. That's why I use the palette knife. Yeah, maybe a few more touches. Right. Just until you're happy with it, really. I try not to overdo it because I've done that many times and you usually regret doing it. But when you think it's enough, but you're not sure, it usually is enough. Sometimes you just get carried away. Maybe a bit more blue.
Oh no, I'll do one more little layer, maybe, alright we'll see, if if this video continues it means I've done another one, but I promise you this is going to be the last layer, Um, so I'm just going to do just little bits of, just little adjustments like, not necessarily I think everything's where it's meant to be, but I just like going over the colours a little bit. So say, like to blend them in, not blend them in, like say a certain area like the forehead, like maybe add a colour that blends with it, like a bit of yellow, or just add like little hints of colour just to like give it some more detail. But yeah. Where's my paintbrush? Alright. Oh no, I've dropped on the floor. So... One sec. Sorry. All right. Yeah, one thing actually, I'm gonna go over it a little bit. Just the ear. Just, just a little detail. All right. Try not to overdo it. Like right that. Then maybe add a bit of white. Where's my other paintbrush? Or pink, a bit of light pink. Just the highlight here. Try not to blend it with the other colors. I do. Just doing little subtle changes, not changes, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, I've got the pink. I don't know, I think it's got enough pink, really. Might have a little tint here. And. Um, oh yeah, actually, I've got another little thing I use, if I can find it, just, oh yeah, well you could use anything, you could use a credit card or whatever, but I use this little metal thing, I dip it in the paint and it makes like lines, I'll show you, wait, if I get some blue out, where's the blue going? Yeah, so I dip it in like that, like this, I mean, so it's got some on the end, and then you can just do like, lines, I don't know, I think it's cool, or you can like, scrape it or whatever, just give it like a little effect. Make it look like it's raining. <laughs> And wipe that, and then I could do it with the other colours as well. Get a bit of yellow. I just think it gives it a nice light. Like, I don't know if you can see it, that little effect. Do it with white as well. It's quite fun using this thing. Might as well not get too carried away. It's hard not to. So basically it's as raining now. <laughs> oh 
outfit. That's quite cool, though. I like that little tool. I don't know what it's meant to be. Some little metal thing. Um, yeah, I think practically done here, to be honest. Go over a few little bits. Um, if you prefer like short videos, please let me know, but I thought I'm not really being able to explain it if I do like a time-lapse video, but just let me know anyway. I mean, I could do some time-lapse videos if, if you would like that. Trying to balance doing drawing and painting. The thing is, I do like drawing, but I do like, I like paintings like my thing. Like, I like, love painting much more. Like drawing, sometimes I've got to try and get myself to do it. Painting, like, I love painting. The thing is, I never used to, though. I used to hate it because I weren't good at it. But um, my, in school, like, my art teacher, well, basically, he was like, come on, mate, give it a go. And here we are. <laughs> nah, but you get used to it. Right. Well, like I said about getting carried away, I probably should draw things to a close. I'm going to do a little bit of grey and then, I'll, then we'll call it a day. I like rhymes. <laughs> Where am I going to put it though? Probably should just leave it, you know. Can't help it. All right, I think I think that is it. I'm gonna have to stop now. But um, yeah. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up or whatever. And yeah, see you in the next one. Or let me know in the comments like. If there's anything you want me to go through, any, so I'll do some more of these or whatever. And yeah, thank you for watching.